It's time once again for Shop My Stash. And if you notice, I don't have a whole lot of stuff in my basket like I normally do. I did not go crazy. Why, you ask? Well, there's lots of panning projects. Let's see what's in my basket. Hey, howdy. Hey, y'all, Lynn here. I shopped my stash right before the first and I know that it's not the first but this is the first opportunity that I've had to actually sit down and record because I don't know what I was thinking Halloween is one of our busiest times and we were busy and I just didn't have time I am so happy that this basket is not overflowing with product. If you remember, last month I said I was going to do my Shop My Stash kind of panning style. I was going to set goals, usage goals, keep a spreadsheet, and I'm here to tell y'all that was a lot of work. Mm-hmm, yep, but I did it. And it was very eye-opening to see what products I reached for and what I didn't use as much. So here are the products that I'm keeping from October because I didn't hit my usage goals on those. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the usage goals again in November. I don't know if I'm going to set individual goals. If I do, they're going to be low. <laughs> because I have a lot, I have a lot going on. I got a lot of panning projects going on. I have some new ones coming up that y'all don't know about yet. It's just a lot, so I'm not sure. We'll see. These are the products that I actually met my goals on, which is quite a lot, actually. And I am very proud of myself because, like I said in my last video, I would pull my products and some of them I would not even touch. But y'all didn't know that. I knew it. Didn't make me feel very good because the whole purpose of Shop My Stash, other than content, <laughs> is to actually use my products. So, having a spreadsheet has really opened my eyes. So let's dig into what I had to keep and the new products and I'll tell you where we are. So out of the I'm keeping it in November basket is the Gemini 2 palette. I did not reach for this palette not one time in the month of October. I have already used it twice in November. I am wearing it today along with a cream shadow from Sydney Grace because I wish this had a lighter shimmer in it. I don't know why I did not want to reach for this palette. I don't know if it was because the first Gemini 2 palette that I had molded and this one was sent to me by melt because i reached out to them and i don't i don't know if it's that sometimes their formula for me can be just a little powdery i didn't find this palette to be powdery at all it performed very nicely i created a beautiful look with it so i will be continuing on and excited to use that now, that's another thing about keeping track and making myself use things because now I know that I actually do like it. The next item is this Laura Geller Hollywood Blushing. This is a trio. Very, very nice little palette. I love the Laura Geller baked blushes. I loved all of their baked makeup, but I had set a 10 usage goal on this and I had only used it six five or six times so i'm leaving it in to get in the other usage and i have already used it twice in the month of november the benefit professional pore primer i used three times 
I have already used it once in November. I had a 10 usage goal on it, I believe. So I'm going to leave this in, and it's nice. I like it. It works very well. That wasn't the issue. My issue is uh, when it's hot, I don't like to put a primer on my face. I feel like it just makes me hotter. I sweat a lot. And uh, I still have the issue of I'm not a morning person. I get up in the morning to get ready for work, and I'm brushing, and I just skip this step. So leaving this in so that I can continue to try to hit that usage goal. I'm leaving in the Pure HD Picture Perfect Powder. This is very, very finely milled powder. It is a nice powder, and I did use it seven times. I had a crazy 20 usage goal on it. I'm going to leave it in. I've already used it a couple of more times in November because the powder that I normally reach for is my Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder. I have put that away so that I am not tempted to reach for it so that I can get usage out of some of my other powders and I do enjoy this so I'm going to continue to use that. This is the Juvia's Place Kibi lipstick. It's just a little guy, just a little mini and I said that I was going to use this 10 times, I believe, and I used it twice. Not because I don't like it, just again, rushing in the mornings and not grabbing for lipsticks. So I'm leaving that in because I really do want to use my makeup. The Estee Lauder Modern Muse Perfume. I, that is all I have left. It is almost gone. I took it out of, it was in a roller ball, and I took it out of the roller ball and put it in this empty scent box so that I could spray it. It smells really, really good. I do enjoy it, so I am going to leave this in and finish it for the month of November. The e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I used this twice, and again, I'm not very big on liquid type foundations or CC cream, especially when it's hot. So I'm going to leave this in and try it uh, in the colder, although right now it's 69 degrees. <laughs> and hopefully it's going to be getting colder soon, but I, I want to use this in the colder months. I do like it. There's nothing wrong with it. Just Again, not something that I traditionally grab for. I grab for my powders first. The ZC H5 highlighter, which is just beautiful. I have it on today. It is kind of glittery, and I'm not big on glitter type highlighters. It is a beautiful highlighter, and I love the embossing on it. Um, but I'm not a huge fan. I used it three times in October. I have used it three times so far in November. I think I have a 10 usage goal on it. So I'm going to continue to use it, but this is probably going to end up in the declutter pile, which surprises me. The Persona Lip Liner. This is in 90210. I love this lip liner. I have it on. I used it three or four times in October. I'm going to continue to use it in November again, rushing in the morning and not grabbing for a lip liner. The same with the Milani Shoop. I used this three or four times as well. I'm going to leave it in and continue to use this. I am about halfway through that. I, I still have quite a bit to go, but... So I'm going to leave that in. The Sigma Lip Gloss. I used this three times in October. I think I had a 10 use goal on it. I'm going to continue with that in November. I've already used it twice. I used the uh, Lancome Booster just a couple of times. So I'm going to continue using that. I do have that on today and it does seem to help make my Lashes look a little bit thicker. This is the ZC Liquid Lip in the shade X03. Love the packaging. It's super cute. I used this once 
in October, so I want to, and I do like it. It's, it's nice. I want to continue to use that. Before we get into what I pulled for November, there were a couple of products that I did not meet my usage goals on that I just did not like. By the way, I had to force myself to use this palette. I was so intimidated by this palette and I was just absolutely positive that I was not going to like it. And I ended up absolutely loving it. Love the formula. I ended up loving some of the color stories too. Like I was so intimidated. Like this over here is, is fine. I even used this yellow. I used that and I used that red together to get me past the intimidated stage because those were the two shades that were really intimidating me. And actually really, really loved this and met my goal on it. So I was super happy about that. Of course, I love the Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. This is a gorgeous palette. Gorgeous. And you can see that I went very heavy into that black. I used that for Halloween looks. Two of them. Was my first time using the Nomad Berlin Underground Palette and really really loved this palette i had no idea that i was going to enjoy this so much some of nomad's other formulas are a little hit or miss for me this one chef's kiss some of the items that i did not like i did not like the gimme glow primer eye primer the formula is fine this shade is just a little bit too yellow for me so I it's the shade that I was not a fan of I did not care for the Maybelline the falsies that everybody is raving about I just I did not care for it at all I think part of it is the brush I'm just not a fan of the brush and uh, the packaging is just, yeah, I don't, of course the packaging, pack, the packaging, packaging has nothing to do with the performance of the product, you know, but we all like our pretty packaging, but I, I just, it was very hard to go on, and I did not like the Lancome mascara, and I absolutely know that it was the brush. I just do not like that shape. I found it very difficult to work with for me. I love the formula, but I do not like the the brush. And I have some mascara brushes, you know, that you can use one-off use. So I'm going to use that to see how that goes. Okay, those are the items that I'm rolling out of my shop, my stash. And now let's look at what I'm rolling in. Okay, where should I start? I pulled out the, because I'm a glutton for punishment, the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream to use along with the ELF. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a hard enough time trying to get the e.l.f. used, and so then I pulled this out. Most of these, I did set usage goals on some of these products. What do I have on my face? And most of them are like three to five. I didn't go crazy because I've been doing 10 and 20, and I'm like, have you lost your mind? What were you thinking? I pulled my Fenty Powdered Foundation. I love this powder foundation. I have it on today. As you can see, I have hit pan in it. Love this. I'm a powdered foundation girl, y'all. Love my powdered foundation. I pulled this Vesca. It says it is a bronzing powder. Soft matte bronzing powder. And it does not look like a bronzer on me. <laughs> but I'm going to use it either just 
as a setting powder or I don't know I don't know but it's it does not really like bronze make me bronzy maybe kind of softly I don't know my Milani prep set and glow powder I have this on today I've had this for quite a while and it's been a long time since I've used it so I decided to pull that out and get some use out of it I pulled this elf putty bronzer which is in the shade feeling shady this is not a bronzer shade for me it is a contour and I'm going to use it as a contour shade I should have used that today I don't know why I didn't but for me this is a perfect contour shade and it's a cream product going into winter. Y'all, I have had this for a long time. This is Tarte Blackened Plum Clay Pot. It is a eyeliner and it is so pretty and I never reach for it, ever. I, I don't wear a lot of eyeliner either, but I'm going to start. So I pulled this and I don't know, I think I have three to five uses on this i have three eye primers i just got this beauty creations blackout eye primer and was terrified and ended up loving it so i want to play around with this because i was just intrigued at how different it made my look my shadows look the other two are pretty vulgar which is just a basic eye primer and then this is Alomar Pero Primero Primer, Long Lasting Sticky Pigment Base. This, because uh, I used it today, was kind of drying on my eyes. And I like this one. I've already used them a couple of times. And I, I like the Pretty Vulgar. But this seems a little dry. Like it makes my eyes a little dry, which I don't need. Because I've already got crinkles and wrinkles and creases and things happening. I don't need to dry my eyes out. But I'm going to play with that. Maybe add a little moisturizer to it before I put it on and see what that does. I pulled this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And I used it today. And I had to take it off because it was too yellow. And I have plenty of concealers, and this is old. I've had it for a long time, so I'm going to declutter that instead of attempting to use it and make it work. So instead, I pulled the number 7 Hydra Luminous Dark Circle Concealer going into the winter. I don't normally wear a concealer. Maybe I need to. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to play around with it, but as I said, I don't wear a lot of eyeliner for whatever reason so I pulled this CoverGirl Exhibitionist 24 hour coal eyeliner to use because I do like the tight, tight line I love how that looks I don't know why I don't do it and I also pulled this Tarte Double Take Awake which I have on because it has the the light uh, pencil for you to brighten your lower and then it has the felt tip black for your upper which I used both of those today. This Essence Highlight Eyebrow Lifter which I have had forever. I have that on today so I thought I would pull that out and play with it. It's like I said, I've had it forever. It's, it seems to be a little dry. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it. The other one is the Lancome. This is a brown, ultra-precise waterproof liner that I just got. It's matte syrup brown. So I thought that would be fun going into the winter. And then I have two mascaras. Who remembers Great Lash? That is an oldie but goodie, right? I've had this for a little while, not a long time, but I thought that I would pull that out just for nostalgia purposes and try it. And then this Milani tubing. This is highly rated lash extensions. It's a tubing mascara, and I have used it, but I didn't use it a lot. I used both of these today. 
and I did not have really another tubing mascara to compare this to, but I just got Thrive's Viral <laughs> Lash Extensions Mascara so that I can compare the Milani to that and see if it's comparable. I love nude sticks, and I have several of them. This is the Nudes Matte. It's an all-over face bronze color, but y'all... Does that look like a bronze color to you? I used it as a blush because it just doesn't look like a bronzer to me. And it's got this cute little brush on the end of it. And then I have a gel color lip and cheek balm. And it is in the shade Posh. It's very pretty. I believe that this is just a little mini. But I want to get some use out of that. And this as well is a little mini. This is Nudes All Over Face Bronze color. And that, oh look. It came out, it came out in, the, in the cap. Like I said, some of the stuff I've had for a while. but And I that might be just a little warm for me. But there's not a lot of it there. That's how much is there, so I want to try that out and get it used up. And I also have this Benefit Mini Hula Bronzer. I've had this for a while. I mean, the packaging is <laughs> coming apart. I did use this today as my bronzer, and so I want to give this some love. And then I got this in my ice cream beauty box for October and I really did like it. It's De Lance. De Lance. It is a liquid blush and it is in the shade Arturum After Moon. <laughs> it's a really weird name but I loved this. It was very pigmented. sheared out really nice. It wore beautifully and so I want to play around with that. And then because I don't have enough lip products that I'm not using, I had to add three lip products. The first one is the Maybelline Vinyl Ink. I have not played around with this much. At first, I could not get it to do what they said, and then I realized that you're supposed to shake it up really, really well before you use it. So I'm going to try that out. And then this lip combo is what I'm wearing. The uh, lip bar. This is the shade Low Key. It is just dark and vampy and I love it. And I paired that with the Ace Beauté. This is the shade Good Vibes. And both of these are very comfortable on the lip and they went really well together. I love how the lip turned out. So. Saving the best for last is my eyeshadow palettes that I picked. I picked some that I have not used at all. I just kind of scrolled through the list. I didn't do the Wheel of Destiny, the Wheel of Beauty, the Wheel of Death and Destruction. What did y'all tell me to call that wheel? I need to go back and read the comments. Anyway, I picked this pretty vulgar. I have a pretty vulgar thing going on this time. This is the Nesting Bitch Face palette. And this is my second one of these, uh, but I haven't used it in a while. And I love it. I did top off the other blush that I use with this shade right here, it's a beautiful blush. Really, really like this palette. And from there, I'll start with my small palettes. I picked this Essence palette. I've had this palette for a while. I just thought it was adorable when I saw it in Ulta. Tope it up. Love a cool palette. I'm super excited to use it. Although you wouldn't think so because I've had it for a while and I haven't even taken the plastic. Let's take the plastic off of it. The Shade Saver that is taped. There we go. Now we can see it. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh. Very pretty. 
Hmm, that has more pigment than I thought it would. These, you would think that the Essence being a drugstore brand, but you know, they can surprise you. So I'm excited about that. And I have used this Charlotte Tilbury. This is a little quad. This is the Golden Goddess. And it's, it's a very pretty neutral palette. I've had this for quite a while. And when I first got it, I had no idea what to do with it. And now that I'm way more experienced, I do know what to do with it. I'm curious because it seems like I remember when I was using it that I was not sure about the performance. And, you know, you always think that the more expensive a makeup brand is, the better the quality, which is not true. So I'm super curious to see how I feel about the quality of this. And, you know, I am terrible on an eyeshadow palette because I can see that I have hard panned that. I am just too heavy handed, too heavy handed. So anyway, I picked the Lorac Unzipped, which is a beautiful palette. Beautiful palette. I have used this quite a few times. It's been a while. I feel like that I really liked this color story so I'm interested to see how I'm going to like it now. And we will decide what we're going to do with it. If nothing else, I may, I intend to depot some of my palettes and use them as singles. I left the Wicked Widow, <laughs> if you watched my short where I did a blooper and called it a Wicked Wicked, I don't remember what I said. Shamalama Ding Ding. Anyway, I really enjoyed this when I used it. So I want to play with it some more because I love that color story. When I first looked at it, I was like, mm, I don't know. But I loved it. Loved it. Performed beautiful. And I love the look that I created. So super cute little palette. We are going to do Halloween for Christmas. And then I picked the All of You Forever from Violet Voss because I've had this palette for a while and have not used it in a long time. And look at how pretty that is. It's just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I thought that that would be a beautiful November color story to create some thankful looks as we go into Thanksgiving. And last, but certainly not least, is my LA Girl Fierce and Wild. This palette is new to me. I have used it, but, and you may look at this and think, oh, but that's not winter, but it looks really icy to me. And look at these teal green. Yeah, I'm excited to use it. When I did use it, it performed very, very well. And the last product that I pulled in my Shop My Stash is something that I am extremely excited about and extremely proud of. It is this little palette right here. This palette is for watercolor. And it is designed to keep it snaps shut very tightly and those I put this little paper in there to write my shade names on and it has the silicone cover to keep the air out because I put my Sydney Grace cream shadows in this palette and I am super excited you see because, you know, when you, when you squeeze your shadows, your cream shadows out of the tube, you squeeze out too much. And then with this, you can just kind of dip a clean brush in there. And you have all of them right here together. I have room 
for three more I just added this one which is Cookie Bake Off. I just got this in the November bundle so I added that one right there and I just I don't know I just had this idea to because I I'm an artist and I have a lot of art supplies and I was like surely I can do some kind of palette to keep my cream eyeshadows in that are in these tubes from Sydney Grace and I just love it look at how beautiful they are they're amazing so I'm super excited to have this sitting on my desk and I can just use whatever shade I wanted I used this in my inner lid inner corner today for this look so so that's my shop my stash for november thanks for hanging out with me make sure you show that like button some love and as always makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are and we are all beautiful at any age and any size find something to be grateful for today pull your makeup out and play with it and i will see you in my next video love you bye